Hello, I'm Bob Wolpert, Engineering Program Manager. I'm discussing the KPA 500 500 plus watt solid state amplifier. The KPA 500 is a self contained 500 to 600 watt amplifier operating all modes from 160 through 6 meters. It is small and easily carried and works with all standard transceivers. The KPA 500 is virtually silent with its cooling fan off until the heat sink temperature requires it. Many protective circuits in a steel case make it rugged electrically and physically. All modes are supported with full power carriers for at least five minutes continuously. Full QSK is implemented with silent pin diodes. The amplifier was designed for remote operation and it plugs into the AC power lines everywhere worldwide. Its power supply is linear using a silicon steel toroidal power transformer for excellent efficiency and zero switching noise. The KPA 500 is rated at 500 watts as a minimum. All production amplifiers easily exceed this power level and most exceed 600 watts on most bands. It handles full carrier key down times exceeding 5 minutes at a time. This includes FT8 with no time limit. Operators stepping up from barefoot transceivers are often astonished at the difference the extra 7 dB makes in their communications effectiveness. With its internal power supply and small size, the KPA 500 travels with you. It is the same outline as the K3 transceiver and only weighs 26 pounds. Travelers appreciate the internal wattmeter, voltmeter, ammeter, thermometer, and other metering devices of the KPA 500 since this means carrying less accessory gear, such as external wattmeters and their cables. The KPA 500 is designed to work with all modern transceivers, completely hands-off. You don't need to touch anything during operation. With just a keyline cable and your coax, you're on the air in what we call basic mode. This uses an internal frequency counter that monitors your transmit frequency and, when necessary, changes bands in milliseconds. The drawback of basic mode is its requirement for a burst of RF for the counter to recognize a band change. This causes a slight delay, approximately 20 milliseconds, on the beginning of your first transmission after a band change. While this is transparent to many operators, it's completely eliminated by implementing enhanced mode. Enhanced mode is enabled by adding a data cable between your transceiver and the KPA 500. With it, as soon as your radio QSY is, the amplifier follows without waiting for any RF. With enhanced mode in the Elcraft K3 or K4, the amplifier sings and dances. The K3 or K4 recognizes that the amplifier is in operate mode and automatically reduces drive power to the suitable level. Switching the amplifier to standby signals the K3 or K4 to return to its full output. Band changes from the transceiver are immediately registered by the amplifier. The band buttons on the KPA 500 control the K3 or K4 as well, so you may change bands with the push of a button on the amplifier. Enhanced mode is enabled by adding an aux cable between the K3 or K4 and the KPA 500. Enhanced mode cables for many other transceivers are available from Elecraft, including Flex, Kenwood, and Yesu products. Or you may build your own. The KPA 500 accepts several types of frequency data from the various transceivers. For Elecraft rigs, the single wire aux bus is used. Four wire binary coded decimal BCD band data is accepted from Yesu radios. ICOMs output a varying DC voltage that command band changes to the amplifier. Flex and Kenwood transceivers control the KPA 500 via a serial data stream. The KPA 500 is nearly silent. Solid state TR switching means there is no mechanical relay noise as the KPA 500 enters and leaves transmit mode. These pin diodes also allow high speed QSK CW operation. The internal cooling fan is off until the amplifier's heat sink temperature demands it. It may operate for quite a while, in a DX pileup for example, without any fan noise. The KPA 500 is rugged. It's fully protected against electrical faults such as high reflected power, input overdrive, 
excessive heat sink temperature, and AC voltage variations. It's also physically rugged. It's mostly steel cases designed to be carried around the world. The KPA500 was designed for remote operation. Its rear panel serial port is active while the amplifier is powered down, allowing computer control at a remote site. Additionally, a hardware power control pin allows a digital voltage to turn the amplifier on and off remotely. KPA500 Remote, our free remote control utility program, is available from the Elecraft website. With it, you may monitor and control KPA500 operation from anywhere in the world. The KPA500 works from AC power outlets anywhere in the world. If your shack doesn't have 240 volts AC, you need not run a new power line to operate the amplifier. It's satisfied with 120 volts as well. It draws about 8 to 10 amps from a 120 volt line, about the same as a hairdryer, and half that from a 240 volt power line. Its power cable is detachable and uses a standard molded IEC plug, the same as on desktop computers. Wherever you are, you'll find a suitable power cable matching local power outlets. The power supply is a linear design using a large silicon steel toroidal transformer. There's zero switch mode power supply noise from this linear supply. It's unregulated, so its efficiency is high, meaning less heat is generated inside the chassis. We load the KPA500 utility. We select the serial port connected to it. And we have the choice of updating firmware. And we can copy new files automatically. And here's the operate page showing all of the important parameters. There's how we back up our configuration. Restore the configuration, display our fault table, or edit our power on banner. So I prefer to have it say this myself, but it's entirely up to you. And there we go. So now that we've reprogrammed the banner on the KPA500, the next time we turn it on, something more interesting comes up. When you turn the amplifier off, the linear power supply filter capacitor is discharged through the fan. This surprises some people the first time it happens, but it's by design. We don't want that 60-70 volts to be a shock hazard. Here's a feature of the KPA500 I find very useful. Normally, when you turn on the amplifier, it powers up in standby mode. However, if you wish to operate a little bit faster, you normally leave your amplifier off and you just want to uh, you turn it on when it's time to call someone. Go through the menu, it's in alphabetical order, to power on. Hold the current button to edit and change it from standby to operate. Exit the menu. Now, next time you turn on the amplifier, it comes back up and switches immediately to operate mode. So, two seconds, you're ready to call in that pileup. I hope you found this description useful. If you have any questions, tune into our live stream or contact Elecraft at our website www.elecraft.com or email support at elecraft.com or via telephone during normal business hours 831-763-4211. Thank you for listening.